painful. I intended to use it. Please? Ranvi, what is this? Another dispute, I'm afraid, with Holger stirring the pot once again. Will you set in judgment? Judgments are the burden of a Jarl. This is Sigurd's duty now. He refuses to leave his quarters. Right now, you are the only noble fit for this. I don't know. It is not my place. Please. Only until Sigurd recovers his strength. All right. Once more. Gudrun, Holger, come forward. You will state your cases and I will hear you out and be as swift in my judgment as I am able. Gudrun, you may speak. I have been robbed, Abel. My property defaced. Three days ago, I discovered some of my sailcloth missing. I scoured the settlement in search of it. Passing Holger's home, there I see it. Boldly displayed and worse, defaced, with scrawls and silly stories upon it. Lies and slander! Holger, quiet. You are well acquainted with the rules of this trial. Now, Gudrun, what did you do upon discovering your sailcloth? I confronted him, demanding silver. For sail with Holger's inky scratching cannot be sold or bartered, can it? I ask only that I be paid for the property that was taken from me, yet he refuses. So Holger took something that belonged to you and defaced it. Now you wish to be paid for the item. Do I understand? That is right. Holger, what say you in your defense? Short days ago, I found a pile of mildew-stained detritus beneath the docks and salvaged what I could. I wish to use it as a canvas, you see? As a conveyance for my latest works. The sailcloth was in such a state and so obscured from view. I assumed it was refuse, abandoned goods. I see. My motives were honest, Eivor. Would a thief be so brazen as to display the fruits of his crime? Hardly. Yet here she claims I have robbed and defaced her property when all I took was rubbish left by to rot. <sighs> Nonsense. My only crime here is that I gave something ugly and decrepit a bold new life. I see. So you feel Gudrun disposed of something and now unreasonably seeks its return. Exactly. Yes. All right. I have heard enough. I might have profited from that cloth. Hog has all but robbed me of a future boon. It was garbage. Yet now it's a part of something greater. If anything, I have increased its value. You ought to thank me. Oh, I will thank you with the back of my... Quiet! Let me speak. After careful thought, it is clear that... What is this? What are you doing? Holger and Gudrun are at odds. I hope to find a resolution. That duty is mine alone, Eivor. You know this. Stand aside. You were not here, brother. Nor did I wish to bother you. A sallow excuse for such a bold defiance. I hope you enjoyed it. Are you finished singing, my dear scout? My Jarl, as I was saying, I Stop! Was... Enough! I have heard more than enough to render my judgment. For as long as I have known you, Holger, you have spun words into lies. You weaken the minds of children, and delude the minds of men. I've shown you too many years of tolerance. And rather than exist in grateful meekness as Holger the liar, you sink lower. You become Holger the thief, robbing a woman of her livelihood, all in the name of your stupid stories. Secret, you all know that that is not the- This is the consequence of your actions. You will pay Gudrun the value of thirty sailcloths. Thirty times? Surely your chest? That would ruin me, Sigurd. Do I look like one to pay pranks, Holger? Pay the fee, or be exiled? Great, Jarl, if I may. I seek only compensation for a single sailcloth. The rest 30 is- Thirty times! In silver! That is my judgment. 
Eivor, please. Does this not seem unfair? Sigurd is our Jarl. His word is law. Whether or not you agree. You see? Of course, my all. As it must be. Forgive my defiance. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us out. See to it that judgment is carried out exactly as I have said. Should the need arise again, do not fail to rouse me. <laughs> Good to see you, darling. I want to thank you for your judgment, Eivor. For stepping in when Sigurd would not, in spite of what happened. Poor man. I've never known him to be so angry and reckless. Is that a side you've seen? Rarely. There have been moments when he was distressed, worried, afraid. But nothing like this. Never, ever like this. Let us do our best for him as we take care of our own. We are his best hope for healing. If it is not too late. In the meantime, we press on. I can hardly begin to describe what happened in Glower, Chestershire. I think you will learn soon enough. But we are allied with them. Yes. For all our pains. I want to see the Alliance map. What about Lincolnshire? A rather boisterous man named Hunwald arrived recently, wishing to speak with you. On a matter of great importance, he said. Where is he now? Down at the docks, carousing with my scouts and scaring the fish from the river. He waits for you with great eagerness. He sounds charming. I will meet him at once. Protect your ears. Isn't it, men? Life in the rough. You may think this odd, but our lively chatter here has inspired in me a short poem. May I recite it for you? Go on, Lord the Boy. Make me tremble. Oh, indeed, I shall try. I call it Ode to a Hungry Flame. Another skull to come to join us. Me? Oh, goodness, no. I'm no scald, no. Just a humble nobleman with an interest in versification. An amateur, really. Shall I continue? I'm not here to judge your poems, Lord. Speak your purpose or down your mead. Y yes Sorry. I have come with the hope of meeting Eivor, the great warrior of this clan. If such an audience is possible. Every warrior in this clan deserves a song or saga, Lord. Why Eivor? Because his name alone dries the tongues of my enemies. If such a hero fought beside me, I'd fear nothing. What's your name, Lord? I am Hundwald, loyal son of Lord Hunbeor, the current elderman of Lincolnshire. May God keep and cure him. 
You see, my father is ailing, and in his delirium, evil men have corrupted his judgment. A secret and powerful order, if the whispers are true. Only a month ago, without forewarning, Mercian soldiers chased me, his only son, from my home. I know not why, but I do know my father would never have ordered my exile. Outcast from your family. That's a hard road to walk. Could one of your clan help me return to Lincoln? March beside me through the city gates and set me at my father's noble feet once again. It may be we can help you, but we'll want something in return. An alliance between our clan and yours. And you shall have it. My father is a great friend of the Danes, in spite of the recent wars. You sing a sad song, Hunwald of Lincolnshire. A son, robbed of his father's protection, now desperate to prove his honor. How far will you go to regain it? To a bloody end? Oh, indeed. I will plunge into the heat of battle to defend my father, knowing our cause is a righteous one. All right, young lord. My clan has need of me just now. But when I'm ready, we'll find your father together and right the wrongs you've suffered. Ah, you are the chieftain here. I suspected as much. God praise you, Eivor. I won't be leading you into the heart of the shield wall, but there will be danger. I want your word. You will follow my orders to the ruin. I am yours to abuse. If it comes to that... I'll wait for you in my safe haven, Bottleston to the northeast. From there, we shall make our way to Lincoln. Goodbye, Lord Boy. Safe travels. God bless and keep you all. I fear I may be escorting that boy to his own execution. That might shut him up. Say the word, and we are off. I will be- And I will be here. Stranger! Eivor! Come, sit! Bread and ale, please, alewife! I have been discussing my delicate situation with Alvgar here. Lord. He is a nobleman like me. 
one of Lincolnshire's sturdy thanes. Hunvold's idea of sturdy is a mug of ale that won't tip over. Alvgar has pledged his loyalty to my family, the House of the Ferocious Swan. With his influence and your might, we shall rid Lincolnshire of the ruffians who plague this land, once and for all. We are going to see your father, Hunvald. That's all. Indeed, Eivor. With speed and purpose, you are the axle to my wheel, the spark to my tinder. Hunvald, do you have a plan? Or have I come all this way to watch you... Of course, my friend. I am a man... Listen, I've come to escort you to your father's side. We go now, or I walk. Ah, yes, to Lincoln! Away! But with care. The road between here... You daft lump of lard! A single dame will not protect you against the whole of Mercia's army. I think you're wrong, Alvgar. And here he'll prove it. I'm hot for a fight, Snowdog. Give me half a chance, I'll stove your heathen face right in! Alright, a quick brogs. Is this what it means to be? Avos! My bladder is burning! I'm a bit of outside for a long deserved slash. Umbald! Don't wonder! Clear out, all of you! Before you kick up a fire! Jesus, my bones are aching. Could you use a dip in the sea? Shut your hinge, chill! And stop dripping blood in my hall! I told Hunwald to stay near. Where did he wander off to? Sounded like Hunwald. He went out that side door. No! I'm feeling a bit dry over here. Remembered for years to come. Alfgar, we have won our first great victory. Humboldt, are you hurt? Never better. I. We should get to Lincoln as quickly as we can. Yes, yes, you're right. Let's depart. What horrible souls are hunting me? Me, the son of a beloved elderman. Was it naive of me? <laughs> 